Hey everyone, John here in Dreams, and this time we're not showing off a game, but rather highlighting an issue. So basically, a few Dreams creators have claimed to have received copyright notices from Sony about their Nintendo-themed games. Now, we've showcased a few Nintendo games in the past, so- oh, this one looks good. So I want to basically highlight which ones are still available right now and see how, how widespread this, this issue is. So one of the last ones we showed off was a 3D Kirby game. So let's just type in Kirby 3D and see if that one's still live. There you go. Lost in Dreamland is still absolutely fine to play. Uh, we also showed off a Mario 64 recreation. So just type in Mario 64 and see if those are live. Because I don't know if this is just a couple of creators for now. Or uh, if... Yeah, this one's still live, it seems. Absolutely is. Or whether it's just a few uh, lone ones. We've shown this one off. This one's absolutely fine too. In fact, all these Mario levels here seem just fine to play. So what else have we shown? Let's just type in a level and see what else we've done in the past. Okay, so we have one called Super Mario Infinity, uh, and that didn't show up when we typed in Mario just now. So let's type in Super Mario Infinity and see if this one comes up. So far, no, it, it hasn't. So... I'll check if the In Dreams page is live, but it's it seems this one's gone down. Uh, so the majority, well, basically every other stage we've covered so far apart from this one is still live. So I wonder what makes this one not. Uh, it could be because they use actual Nintendo music in there, but it's kind of hard to say. Uh, in my eyes, Dreams is more fan art than fan games in a lot of cases, because they aren't using models from existing games. These are all uh, assets made completely by scratch. And, you know, they're all made within a game, basically within a game. They're, they're not making money off this. Uh, so, yeah, I, I personally, I don't really see why they would take these down. And, it, like, it's not like you'll take a Mario Maker level down because they're using another theme, right? But I, I guess this does go further. But, yeah, it does seem that some Dreams levels are being taken down. Not the majority of them, but a couple of them. And even if it is just a couple at the moment, that could very well uh, start the basis of a much wider attack on some of these licensed games. But yeah, I think Nintendo is the only one that I've heard about doing this so far. Um, but I mean, I guess this this is more of an incentive to check out the original Dream stuff. But it's just such a shame because uh, some of these uh, fan-made Nintendo property games were really impressive. And it was a great showcase of what Dreams can do. Um, so it's a bit of a shame. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. And if, if you've made a level yourself, has it been affected by this? And I just want to know how, like, how widespread this is, because it doesn't seem to be too widespread based on what we've shown so far. Like, if I type in... Let's, see, let's, say, let's type in Pokemon. Pokemon's always one that gets taken down by the Pokemon company. And you type in Pokemon, bam, there's a bunch of Pokemon games. Type in Mario, bam, there'll be a bunch of Mario games. Type in... I don't know. Yoshi. What do we get for Yoshi? You type in Yoshi, one of the first results is Yoshi dies. So there's, there's still plenty of Nintendo stuff within Dreams. So perhaps it's just a certain use of assets in there. Maybe it's if you use their music or whatever. But anyway, yeah, let us know what you guys think about this. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Dreams and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye.